Today we will be talking about the inner planets, which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Mercury and Venus, Earth and Mars, flying in their orbit round a star. So, the planets are called terrestrial planets, because they're made of rocks, and I like rocks. So let's start with the first planet, which is Mercury, which is the smallest planet, it's pretty small. And it's the closest to the sun, and it rotates slowly. It takes like 59 days. That's a long time. Planet has no moons, and it has an atmosphere like every other planet. It's made out of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium, like bananas. One side of Mercury is very hot, and the other side is very cold. And that's about it. Next planet. The next planet we're going to talk about is called Venus. Venus was once a twin planet to Earth, but then they realized it's nothing like Earth because it's really hot, like 900 degrees, you could like die probably, and it slowly rotates, it takes like almost a year for it to rotate one day, and it has a thick atmosphere, and it has carbon dioxide and nitrogen in it, so I, I like nitrogen. So Venus has no moons and no rings, it's all alone, and that's about it. Next planet! The next planet we're going to talk about is Earth. Earth is very different from the other planets because it has life on it. I bet you guys didn't know that. It's home to many different kinds of species and animals, even those strange things called humans. It is the third planet away from the sun and is made up mostly of water. Earth is home to many things like volcanoes, earthquakes, and about 36,000 McDonald's fast food restaurants. The planet only has one moon that is made up mostly of cheese, I mean rock. Satellites surround our planet and monitor the weather and climate. Now for the very last planet, Mars. Mars is mostly red and is smaller than Earth, but still bigger than Mercury. It only has two very small moons and an atmosphere made of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon. It takes 687 days to rotate the sun. That's like 687 days. It's a long time. Mars is the only planet besides Earth that has robots on its surface. These robots take pictures of the rocks and the rocks and the ground and the rocks. Scientists have found evidence of ice on Mars, which means there could possibly be life on it. We have not spotted any big creatures on its surface, but we do not know what lies on the ground. However, there is very strong evidence that microscopic life, like bacteria, live on Mars. So next time we think of Martians invading Earth, it'll probably look more like this. In that way, people can see for themselves um, germs. So we have long, thin ones. Now, let's review what we've learned. Mercury is the smallest planet, closest to the sun, and one side is really hot, and the other side is very cold. Venus is about the same size as Earth, and it is really hot. You could even cook ham on the ground if you wanted to. <gasps> it's ham! Careful, it's hot! <coughs> so anyways, Earth is the perfect temperature for life, which is why there is life on it. It is mostly ocean and has many different climates. The last planet, Mars, is a bit smaller than Earth. It has two moons, and could possibly have bacteria growing on it. So that's all for now. I hope you learned all about these amazing planets. Mm -hmm.